Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm telling you about my experience with recurrent corneal um, erosion. So it all started one night in December 2017. Brain freeze. <laughs> um, so about a year ago, um, I was standing behind my cat. My cat jumped up onto the table and his tail flicked into my left eye. So it was initial extreme pain and I thought okay the pain's gonna go away in a second it was just a really harsh tail flick but it must have hit with some force so the pain wouldn't go away and the pain wouldn't go away and then my eye started like watering um, and yeah, the, just the pain was lingering. So I decided to go to the hospital that night, the public hospital. And they saw me pretty quickly, actually, compared to other people who were sitting there and waiting. And I was told by the physician that saw me that I had a corneal abrasion or ulcer or something like that. Um, and he said, I need to see an ophthalmologist at a different public hospital because they didn't have one um, within the next day, by the next day. Um, and so in order to prevent infection, he told me to put some, I think it was antibiotics in my eye. I think it could have been Clorsic actually, and some lubricating drops. So I did that the first night. I got up in the middle of the night and I spewed up. I believe it's probably from the pain I experienced because I have not experienced something that painful. I'm just trying to think, mm, might have had a couple occasions similar, but oh my God, that was painful. So I went to the PA hospital the next day um, and they were putting, the, the staff there were putting numbing drops in my eyes to help it, um, you know, to stop the pain. Um, and then I got seen by the ophthalmologist. Now the ophthalmologist said, uh, put, I can't remember if you told me to continue for a short time with the antibiotics or not the drop antibiotics. Um, but other than that, he said for six weeks, I had to use eye lubrication. Um, so I guess um, to help it heal over. Now I said, can I have one more of those numbing? Can I just have a whole bunch of those numbing eye drop things? And he said, no, because you could go blind. He said, I guarantee you, you'll probably go blind and your eye will not heal properly. And that's um, that's why he hasn't given it to patients in the past because it's, I think, caused problems in the past. And so I couldn't have the numbing eye drops um, so that it could he heal over. Um, because if I didn't put the numbing, if I did put the numbing eye drops in, it probably wouldn't heal over. Now I said I was lucky because where I got the corneal abrasion was below um, my line of sight, so I my eyesight's still absolutely fine. Um, and anyway, so he said about six weeks and he said, I probably don't need to see you again. It'll heal over most of the time. That's what's going to happen. Just use the lubrication. So I did, um, and I think it was a lot of lubrication. I can't remember the schedule he put me on it as to how much, but I don't think it was just like once a day or anything. And the most important is to have it before night because most of the time when the pain happens is when your eyes become dry and it's been trying to heal over and then the skin rips open when your eyelid opens. Um, after being asleep. So most important is to really gunk up your eye at night. So the six weeks or however long, I think it was about six weeks, passed and things were going cruisy. I stopped using the lubrication. And then I had another episode where I had pain in my eye. Now the recurring episodes I've had have been nowhere near as bad as the initial episode. Oh, that was painful. Even the ophthalmologist had said to me, he said, I've seen grown men cry from this and I don't know what pregnancy is like, but it's going to be one of the most painful things you experience. And he was not kidding. Anyway, so the recurring episodes were not as bad, but they were painful, but bearable, like completely bearable. So I went back to the public hospital, I think two more times or three more times. I can't remember. 
and I've said like that pretty much always would tell me the same thing lubrication so that examine my eye that put the yellow dye in it um, and and you see the problem was also with the recurring episodes see the initial episode they could see the uh, corneal abrasion the recurring episodes they told me the reason they can't see it one of the ophthalmologists said the reason they couldn't see it my eye looked normal when I went to see them is that by the time I get to them because the eye starts to regenerate or heal fast would have healed within those few hours before I'd come to see them so they can't see any of the I don't know what they look for but they couldn't see it anyway but after explaining myself I then had an ophthalmologist say to me you have recurrent corneal erosion that means that initial episode it didn't heal over properly um, and your whole epithelial layer comes off sometimes when it's too dry um, and you open your eyelid it comes off and it causes that pain or irritation so again I was told lubrication every single time it was the same story lubrication and especially going before night um, and they put me on different lubrication schedules depending on who I saw um, and so I just kept going about my day and the op ophthalmologist said to me the the one that um, I think it was the one who told me I had recurrent corneal erosion or maybe not she said to me that you could have surgery but only they consider it as a last resort if the pain occurs more frequently like once a week or something like that so um, I had quite an uncomfortable painful episode once when I was teaching in my classroom at school um, and my eye was so bloodshot people were like are you okay are you okay so I had to stop I had to get a relief teacher to come in because I had to leave the school and I went to hospital um, so I've had some interesting episodes but they haven't been too bad not as bad as that one where I had to stop teaching um, so the latest update is I my eye was irritated for quite a few days a few weeks back maybe probably about a month ago and I actually went to see an optometrist and said because I was told well you can see an optometrist as well and she checked out my eye and she said she could see that it was irritated when she did her examination and she said in order for it not to get infected and just to be sure um, I'm gonna put you on Clorsic the antibiotic and you need to lubricate your eyes four times a day and I'll show you some of the lubricants I've been using um, so I did that now in the back of my mind I remember when I talked at the hospital to the ophthalmologist and she said about surgery being the final option she didn't have any other solution for me I said I'd you know I'd look did, did some research on the internet and there were other things to try for example bandage contact lenses um, to help with the healing and she had no idea and she said to me well you're welcome to see a corneal specialist so I recently have gone and paid to see a corneal specialist so it wasn't in the public system anymore and she I explained the situation to her and she said okay six months without fail pretty much you need to do this lubrication schedule four times a day and then this um, a, a much thicker lubricant at night time which the thicker it is the blurrier your, your vision but it's going to keep your eye moist for longer especially when you're sleeping you're not going to get up in the middle of the night um, and she said 80% or something very high percentage of people after that six months using that strategy it'll completely heal over then there's a small percentage who it will not heal over and in that case she said you can come back to me if it's still not working like if it's still causing you trouble come back to me and there's things that we can look at a surgery is a last resort I think it's for two to three percent of people um, and there's two types of surgery she said but before that there's yeah the contact bandage lens and stronger medications but she said there's side effects and even with the surgery I had heard it can be quite painful I was told you remember how painful that was 
it's so much more painful because it's I don't know which one of the two surgeries or if it's both it's the whole eye where they're you know regenerating I think the epithelial layer or something so right now I haven't had very many episodes since I saw the optometrist and going on to the op- uh, to the specialist, corneal specialist, which, mind you, was hard to find a corneal specialist. Um, even my GP struggled. So I, sh- I said to her, I'm just going to go home and research. And I found one. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at at the moment. And I'm hoping it'll just heal over in six months. So other than that, I'm going to try other methods. I don't want to try the surgery. Um, one because of the pain and two because apparently it may not 100% work and there could be risks and stuff so I mean I've never had surgery and I really don't want to I'm gonna show you some of the lubricants that I've got so this is Sistane Um, I find this the best as in easiest application I don't need to look in a mirror to do this I just Open it up, put one or two drops in, put the lid back on, um, and use one a day pretty much. And it doesn't blur your vision at all. This is the thick one that the specialist, corneal specialist, told me to use. This one's called Vitapause, um, and it's thicker. I still don't think it, any of these blur your vision that much, but initially, like for a few seconds maybe, yeah, and then you blink and you're fine. But this is the one I use before I go to bed. She told me to use this. So um, this six month schedule, she said to, I think the first four months, I have to still do the four times lubrication a day and the Vitapause at night. And then the next, I think it's two to four months, I um, can slowly, instead of giving my eye a shock, slowly reduce things like maybe two times lubrication a day. And things like that and she said there's no hard or fast rule but to give it a go and even the four times lubrication is because I suggested that my optometrist had put me on that regimen and it my eye was going pretty good on it not many episodes because my eye was so moist it wasn't getting dry enough to have that episode of the epithelial layer lift off now this is genteel you can get it in a gel or I think a liquid form this is the thicker one and they say yeah it could blow your vision a bit no it doesn't Again, it's kind of like the Vitapause. It, you're fine. And but the thing with these two is, I have to look into a mirror for these two, so they're not as convenient if you want to put them on through the day. I'm actually going to put some cyst. Oh no, I'll put some Gentil on now because I need to. So I need to look into the mirror for this. Okay. So it can get a bit messy. That's why I love Sistain because, yeah, you might have some drops down your face. But this is like goopy. And so you may need a tissue to wipe off what's gone all over your eye. So, yeah, I'll need a tissue after this video. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me, um, especially if you're suffering from this yourself. Um, Hopefully this will heal over in the next six months or so and it'll be good news um but i mean yeah fingers crossed so if you like this video or you want to keep up to date with um any of my product reviews etc please don't forget to click the subscribe button below and i'll see you in my next video bye